All right. This morning I have members of the band Avenues with us here. Um, thanks for joining us, guys. Why don't you start off, um, tell us, uh, inter- introduce yourselves, and then tell us what you do in the band. Awesome. All right. I'll start it off. I'm Scott. Uh, I play bass. I'm the, uh, the twin of Scott, Sean. I play guitar. I am the other twin of Sean and Scott. Uh, my name is Mark, and I play drums. All right. Fantastic. And then we're missing um, your singer and guitar yeah, player. Vin's busy with a Galaga tournament uh, today. Okay. He's always trying to get high scores. So uh, I think that's where, where he's at. Yeah. Did he oh. beat level 25 yet? He's beyond that, right? I think so. No. We wrote a song about it. but. <laughs> All right. We have you here today uh, because you guys are getting ready to release. And I dare I say a long awaited um release of your new album um we're all doomed it comes out this coming friday the 19th and also you guys have a listening party scheduled for saturday on the 20th uh from two to four over at rushmore records but you guys have had this record you have basically been sitting on it for a while now i think based on our previous our previous conversations yeah i think um we've been sitting on it since last march it's uh (laughs) what what's been lovely in the industry of uh vinyl pressing lead times of uh trying to have physical product in hand and uh got to the point that we were supposed to have this last month um but you know with all the delays all all that fun stuff that it's uh hopefully going to ship in january now but we figured you know we've been sitting on this way too long too many setbacks and uh figured that you know we got to release it this year and get get some uh, traction going from it okay yeah, and what was so these songs were written, you said this is ready back in March of last year, which would have been 2020. So you were writing songs back in 2019? Yeah. Pre, um, pre-pandemic. Pre-pandemic and even back in 2017 when we started the whole project and then uh, basically scrapped the album uh, once uh, we had some um, setbacks with uh, Atlas Studios closing down. Uh, Mark had some... Uh, some really severe health issues, which if he wants to go in detail, I'll, I'll let him explain uh, the, the fun behind uh, his experience there. Um, but yeah, like we, we wrote this album twice. Uh, so really happy with uh, how it turned out. And I think uh, every single song on, on this is a, it's a banger for sure. So have you, have you been getting together and, and working on, you know, just working through the songs and in, in the meantime, since, or, what what have you been been up to since you had kind of were able to put the album together? There's a lot of things behind the scenes, like the the fun creation of music videos and working okay. with other creators, trying to you know really get an image for for this album and just kind of making it something more than just songs. We want more of that visual appeal to it. So there's a lot of work that goes into scheduling that, and we're still working on some other fun uh, videos. Hopefully, come out once we get the vinyl shipping and all that. Um, but we've also been working on new stuff. Uh, luckily with technology, we're able to do this and, you know, bounce ideas back and forth. And I, I, I know about the rest of the guys, but we're excited to play these lives and get new songs recorded already. Move on to the next. No, no, I can imagine. Cause you, you've had basically new material ready to go and just have had to, to sit on it and, you know, not be able to share it with the world and not be able to play it out. And you guys are, you know, I think one of the, you know, for Milwaukee bands are, are definitely known for, for playing live and, and getting, you know, touring, or, you know, not just locally, but around the country. Yeah, yeah it's, a- it's, it's been a little bit of a bummer not being able to play, but it, I think it'd be a disservice to our fans and not to have that album when we start playing shows, because right. it would be, you know, you show up, cool, now you want, you know, the physical product and, you know. We, we understand we go to shows if there's no vinyl there we're like well this is a little bit of a bummer right. came to the show you, you're expecting to have that token at the end but you know patience we're almost right. there <laughs> no no absolutely and also being able to just get the music into out there into the world so that when people go to the shows they know the songs and they you know they can sing along and exactly you know you're not playing you know entire songs that they haven't heard before necessarily Yes, right. the, yeah. whole, the whole started, new sound. Uh, 
Exactly. We were uh, kind of experimenting with some of the new tracks. Um, you know, we've, we've done a handful of shows, um, uh, you know, post pandemic, getting our feet wet again, like Summerfest and uh, playing at X-Ray a, a couple of times. And you know, it's cool to you know play a couple of new songs, but yeah, it's trying to um, get the crowd into it. Cause obviously they, they know uh, the old songs can sing along and all of a sudden you're playing something new and you don't want to take away from that too much. So it's um, you know, trying to get it, uh, you know, published and release of it's more of a familiar thing that they can listen to. And then when they come to the show, it's uh, not a strange thing. It's okay. a fine balance. <laughs> no, absolutely. Absolutely. Especially with, with a new album that you're kind of waiting to get out there um, and get into everybody's, you know, into everybody's hands. So writing this three year, you know, over three years ago now, it, it sounds, you know, the album's called We're All Doomed. It comes out, um, we're, or I should say, we're chatting with Avenues. Um, their new album, We're All Doomed, comes out this Friday, the 19th. Uh, listening parties at Rushmore Records from 2 to 4 on Saturday. So you'll be able to hear it with everybody else at Rushmore Records on Saturday if you want to get out and meet the band. Um, so you wrote these songs like three or four years ago, it sounds like now. And I think, you know, the way the world's gone, everything's still very relevant <laughs> behind we're all doomed yeah the, yeah. the, the tagline has definitely prolonged a lot longer than we expected <laughs> <laughs> yeah, felt that it was a, a very fitting title and yeah it uh holds true and it still uh it continues i think we're in a very interesting uh situation with the you know with the dynamics that's going on within you know media politics and just everything that's going on around the world right now was there has there been any temptation to go back and tweak songs and to continue working on them in this oh era? Because I, I would imagine that's got to be really difficult. Is like you've got these songs that record. You mentioned you wrote this. You wrote this album twice now, so maybe not. I, <laughs> no, the temptation there was definitely uh, there for I think all of us. But we did uh, luckily we're able to still kind of experiment with working on the songs even after we were done recording them, which mm -hmm. uh, um, was kind of like a blessing in disguise because even as things were still going on, we found ways to kind of keep the record relevant even in today, you know, even though it was written so long ago and we've worked on it so many different times. Um, it's really cool that, you know, again, like the twin said, like technology and able to do stuff like this. It's, uh, it's really cool that we were still able to keep the whole thing relevant. Yeah, Kevin over at uh, the Exchange Recording Complex was, uh, you know, really patient with us and, you know, easy to work with throughout the entire process. And, you know, when, when we shut down for COVID and uh, basically had almost everything done, you know, we, we took our time to kind of go back and uh, Vince spent a lot of time uh, rewriting lyrics and, uh, you know, making things still relevant. So um, it was cool just to kind of send stuff back and forth and do all the mix revisions over the, over the year when we were all locked in. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned a little bit earlier that you've also, you know, been spending the time working on multimedia presentations for, for the songs and you have a video for, for the first single off of we're all doomed devious, which we've been playing on the show for a number of months now. Um, maybe almost close to a year, but, um, yes, so you. you guys, you guys put out a, an animated video for devious that um, everyone can view online. Are you working on, um, are you working on other videos? Yeah, um, so we just uh, last month released uh, our new single, uh, Lights Out. Um, okay. So we had Eric that did the first animated video kind of do a hybrid of um, live performance shot um, in my basement along with uh, some kind of cool Halloween uh, throwback stuff to put in. So then, you know, kind of releasing it before Halloween was uh, really cool for us to do. Um, and then, yeah, we have a, in the works, a couple other videos and Vin's been spending some time on uh, working on the next single, uh, at least storyboarding and uh, getting ideas together for the next video on that too. Okay. And then um, do you have any upcoming shows beyond uh, to celebrate the release at this point or once we get a firm date? We can start planning the most important date of our life. Uh, once we find out exactly when that vinyl's landing, okay. we will probably be playing a show within four weeks of that date. Okay. Yeah, we definitely all agreed that it would be best to wait until we have this product to, you know, to really sell. So when people do come to the show, um, you know, we actually have this thing that everybody's been waiting for. And um, 
yeah, I, we all agreed that that would be the best way to do it. Okay. So, so for right now, the best thing to do uh, is to get out to Rushmore on, on Saturday. Well, one, pick up the, pick up the new record. Um, where, where will it be available? Um, I assume it like it releases on the 19th digitally. So. Digitally on the 19th, and it's going to be on all music platforms. So, you know, your Bandcamp, Amazon, iTunes, Spotify. Uh, if they have sell music on it, it will be there. You can also pre order the LP right now on Wiretap Records. Uh, they're almost sold out. And then our European label, Spam, has uh, different variants, which, you know, they're happy to ship to the States as well. And then, like we said, once we get vinyl in hand, we'll be definitely slinging them at shows. Okay. Yeah, and uh, also uh, doing CDs. So, thinking of other physical uh, media that, uh, you know, archaic, but at the same time, it's still got to have, you know, some people like having physical CDs too. So uh, that will also be in hand and also available on our band camp to, to order once uh, we get that next week too. And we should mention at Rushmore, because we're going to be expecting a test press very soon. We'll be doing a raffle for that bad boy. And we're doing proceeds to Planned Parenthood. Uh, Bradford's going to be there with his calendars and the proceeds will be going to the same cause. Uh, we got donations coming in from the backyard, uh, Sabbatic, uh, X-Ray, uh, amongst uh, Great Lakes Distillery, uh, and then we have some other fun stuff we're throwing in too. So we're just gonna try to make it a an, an event on the twentieth. Yeah, that's um, that's. Go ahead. Sorry, and then uh, Enlightened Brewery has uh, been very generous and uh, donated a a, a little uh, refreshments. Yeah, refreshments, <laughs> free samplings of refreshments from uh, uh, Enlightened Brewery. Uh, Tommy yeah. over there is uh, awesome and been very supportive of us as well. Thanks, Tommy. Oh, that sounds great. It's going to be uh, quite a quite a listening party, um, it, which is going to be at Rushmore this Saturday from 2 to 4 p.m. Um, you can check out the new album or pre-order the new album over at avenuesrocks.bandcamp.com as well as on Wiretap Records. Um Thanks for, thanks for uh, chatting with us here this morning. We're going to hear uh, a couple more songs from Sweet. Thank from you. Avenues. Thanks. Thank you.